Houston, I've been waiting for you. It's been a while. Houston husband and wife accused of trying to kidnap, kill man she cheated with. Houston man is sharing his story after surviving an alleged plot to kidnap and kill him. The suspects in the case, a woman he was having an affair with and her husband. Matt Doherty has all the details of how the alleged plot unfolded up until the moment shots were fired. Let's be honest with each other. That man didn't do anything to that woman that she didn't want to happen or allow to happen. If your wife has taken a liking to sleeping with other men, we'll say she's been bitten by the bed bug and you feel like you have to kill every last man that she sleeps with, you better be prepared to become either a mass murderer or a serial killer to save your happy marriage. A judge has set high bonds for a Houston husband and wife who are accused of trying to kill the man she was having an affair with using murder as a bonding exercise to glue your marriage back together or to atone for the adultery of another spouse is insane some people just go to therapy omar bish tawi and hana alalawimi i'm not saying those names anymore our husband and wife they are parents to three kids and houston police say they are now also criminals according to details that came out in court the couple tried to kidnap and kill the man she was cheating with at nine o'clock on saturday night prosecutors say 35 year old hana alolaimi told the 36 year old man she'd been cheating with to go to this chick-fil-a on westheimer near fondra prosecutors say the man never knew she'd also brought her husband along with her 48 year old uber driver omar bishtawi who knew a woman wearing a burqa could be so damn freaky i thought that was the whole point was to help stave off temptation from other men i guess whatever she's packing under that garb transcends all religion society culture and dogma and i have to admit i'm kind of curious it's alleged you are both married to other people and when the complaining witness's wife found out about the relationship the complaining witness broke off the relationship says a judge as he's reading probable calls to the couple she said i can't come over and play with you anymore that however wasn't the end of it according to court records 35 year old Hannah Alawimi and her husband, 48 year old Uber driver Omar Bishtawi, went to a West Houston Chick fil A and waited for the man she had been cheating with, a DoorDash driver, to arrive. I'm not surprised at all that it was a DoorDash driver that was stuffing his wife. Those dirty, rotten scoundrels, all they do is deliver to lonely women all day. It doesn't take anything you're going to eat that pie by yourself, sweetheart, or do you need some company? They're the new pizza box porn stars. It's alleged that you gestured to the complaining witness and the complaining witness got into your vehicle. You tried to drive off with the complaining witness, although the complaining witness told you he had a delivery and could not go. Your husband jumped out from under a curtain, got Damn, that was in the back seat of the vehicle. Put the complaining witness in a chokehold and pressed the firearm against the complaining witness's head. You better be ready to kill a lot of people, buddy. The complaining witness tried to get away and your husband shot the complaining witness two times. The judge explains the gunfire and attempted kidnapping, according to court documents, happened at the same Chick-fil-A where the wife and her boyfriend would meet. And then the two, according to court records, would drive behind the nearby target to be alone. Among the things he says he was told while he was in a chokehold by Hannah's husband is that he had to die because he had dishonored her. Having sweaty burka sex behind a target, just living the dream, huh? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you think that I'm reaching. But is this the patriarchy that thinks that it's impossible for the woman to have initiated such a sexual dialogue and that it's automatically the man's fault because he led in these actions? Is that what I'm looking at here? Tonight, we got to see where the man was shot when he showed us his wounds, one in his thigh, the other in his right foot. He says he still can't feel anything on part of his leg beneath his knee. Three months ago, the man says he called off the affair he'd been having with Hana, whom he'd met at the apartment complex where he used to live, when he says things were getting toxic. After that, he says she wouldn't leave him alone and showed up at his new apartment. The couple has three children, ages 13, 10, and 7 years old. That coochie is coochie and that thing is thangin'. After three kids, is still surpassing religion and finding a way to break up happy homes while you're out driving an Uber. The boyfriend was 
shot in the thigh and in his foot and survived. The husband and wife are both charged with aggravated kidnapping and aggravated assault. He's being held on a $200,000 bond. Her bond has been set at $150,000. There you have it, kids. Omar Bishtawi and Hana Alalawimi. Tell me what you think.